Welcome back to a new video. Today I want to go over the top 5 best guns you should currently use in Battlefield 2042 Season 6. And I will also add some honorable mentions at the end. Of course, before we start, short disclaimer. If your gun isn't mentioned here, doesn't necessarily mean the gun is bad. It just means the other guns are so much better that it's not worth switching. Okay, with this out of the way, let's start at number 5. First of all, both shotguns, the MCS-880 and the 12M Auto. Don't use the NVK, this gun just fucking sucks as a shotgun. Why both of these? I think they are kinda the same gun, just used for different purposes. So let's start with the 12M Auto. This is a shotgun you should use if you're on close space and you fight a lot of more than like two or three enemies at a time. And the gun is also especially good in clearing stairwells or very tight hallways since you have 21 bullets. And the gun is fully automatic. And of course the gun is more of a lower skilled shotgun in quotation marks since well it's fully automatic but yeah. These are the attachments you should be running. Short barrel for the rate of fire increase. MGL laser sight for hipfire accuracy when moving, of course you want the drum magazine, and sight it's a shotgun, go with 1x. And the other spot shotgun is the MCS-880. The only difference between this shotgun and the 12M is you are required to have a little bit better aim and you also need to be a bit more skilled in the game. With the 12M you can just run into a room, hold down the fire button and kill a lot of people. This is impossible with the pump shotgun. Here you actually need to aim and hit your shots because if you miss with the shotgun you are most likely dead. But in return you get the benefit of having a lot more range and you can instantly delete people with one shot. Since with the 12M you usually need to hit two or three bullets but yeah. These are the attachments I will I'm running. I'm running the factory barrel since the only other option is a silencer and since the silencer reduces our effective range that's something we don't want with a shotgun. Laser sight for better hip fire and with ammo types I personally like the number one buck shot since I have a feeling you get a lot more range if you hit your shots. Of course you could also use the number four buck shot but I personally think the number one buck shot falls off so hard and isn't giving you more one shot potential in close range it's just not worth using. So but this is personal preference honestly. Just test both of them out and then you can see what fits your playstyle better. And then yeah of course one x zoom since it's a shotgun. So my number four spot is for those of you that like long range sniping and that's the Rush MK4. The gun is just hit scan up to like i don't know 300 400 500 meters the only problem with the gun is of course that you have to charge your shot very shortly but honestly for what you get out of the gun this is just so much value these are the attachments I will, i'm running you can't really change them honestly yeah as for magazines obviously high power capacitator for spot since it's the sniper ammo and then you just need to play until you unlock the six zoom 6x for long range sniping then I also put on a thermal if I can't spot enemies and a close range shader for whatever reason I want to change to full auto or burst. If you don't like the Rush MK4 the only other sniper rifle you can actually play at least for long range sniping is the DXR1. So these are my attachments long barrel extended make and 8x zoom, 10x if I want to go really long range and 6x if I can't spot the enemy. The other sniper rifles I wouldn't necessarily recommend since most input is bugged in this game. Playing a gun that requires you to accurately hit headshots over and over again, especially with a gun like the SVS-10 where you go a bit more close range is just not worth it. So as for my number 3 spot, it's the PKP LMG, just simply because the gun is just super fun to use. You can't really put a lot of attachments on it, but simply put 200 round high power extended, you can shred people so fast it's not even funny. Rip is factory, can't change it. And as a barrel, honestly, I tried with like the tactic compensator, usually slap on or the war compensator. But in my opinion, the gun already has no recoil and is also super accurate. And I always find that when I put a recoil control muscle on the gun, the gun becomes too little accurate, at least for my taste, over range. And if I put on the tactical compensator, I sometimes have the problem that I can't hit stuff, so I just run the factory barrel. I think that's the only gun where I run the factory barrel. And then aside, as always, fusion holo. Now for my number two spot, 
we actually have the BSVM and I can tell you this gun is so underrated currently I see basically nobody use it even though the gun is just broken. Of course you have the downside of only having like 20 shots only per, per magazine but you kill so fast you have a very high headshot damage the gun is fully automatic. This gun honestly feels a bit like the G428 that got nerfed and if you have Good aim and you know how to hit your shots, this gun is a beast, but remember to slap on the short barrel for the increase in fire rate. And now for my number one spot, I have two guns here. For one, we have the PP29, my favorite gun in the game. You just get no recoil, really good range, SMG movement speed, SMG handling, 65 bullets, you can flank, you can kill people without even needing to reload. The gun is just super good and of course we have the vhx the probably statistically speaking currently the best gun in the game you just shred everything with it those are the attachments i'm running i currently tried out the war compensator on redacted since you don't shoot a lot of long range so you don't need a lot of accuracy and personally the gun has zero recoil and if i slip on the war compensator the gun feels like it has too little recoil and i overcorrect all the time so yeah this, this is what I'm running. If you want to win most of your 1v1s, if not all of your 1v1s, if you have better aim, just go use this gun. Everybody will hate you, but your KD will go up like crazy. But of course, if the gun gets nerfed next patch, your KD will drop faster than anything else. And yeah, for attachments for the PP29, there isn't a lot. Standard issue for 65 rounds, close quarter scope and tactical compensator. Since the gun has no recoil, even with the tactical compensator, you have no recoil. Now for some honorable mentions. First of all, the SFAR, absolutely the best long range AR in the game. Just make sure to fill out your grenade launchers, put in the high power extended and take the compensator for the accuracy. Another god gun, at least if you play on controller, is the AC-42. I currently run this muzzle since it gives you horizontal recoil control and I think that's very important on a burst gun. But if you play on controller you can pretty much just slap on the tactical compensator since when you play on control you automatically get 25% reduced recoil in all directions. So the gun is just super good as a controller player. As for pistols, G57 simply put on close combat drum, laser sight, red dot and I like to use the war compensator since they increase recoil a lot and your close up usually so I think recoil control is more important than weapon accuracy. And the last piece I want to give a shout out to is the Desert Eagle or the BFP50. Just here make sure you use the high power round since they give you longer one shot headshot range than the close combat. I think with high power it's up to 25 meters and with close combat it's up to 20 meters where you can headshot people. And sometimes those 5 meters more with high power really make a difference. But yeah, these are the top 5 guns currently in the game plus some honorable mentions. Of course if you like to play any other gun out of those I showed you that's totally fine but in my opinion these are the best guns if you want to get the maximum amount of kills possible per round. So if you enjoyed this video consider leaving a like and subscribing for future Battlefield content. As always thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.